Hi all, Hina Solanke here from Ultimate Success and Ultimate Rebalance. Today I'm going to show you how I cleanse and clear my home, my space. This could also be your workspace, it could actually be any of your space that you need to clear. And this is for anybody, um, for you entrepreneurs, CEOs, housewives, house husbands, parents, whoever you are, living on your own, students, clear your space. Fill it with some positive energy. So it's New Year's Day today, which is why I've chosen to share it with you. But again, there could be different reasons why you want to cleanse and clear. Uh, you may have a new home. You may have relocated. You may have just had an argument with somebody in the family or you just aren't feeling too good and you want to shift the energy. Then this is perfect for you. And I, I just love it. I, it makes me feel really good. So there are different ways and uh, methods you can do this. You can use crystals. You can use essential oils, you can use different herbs, you can use incense sticks. So today I'm going to be using sage. Um, actually, you can use singing bowl as well. I forgot to mention that. So a singing bowl, you can go around the power home with that. Or the vibration of the sound can also clear and cleanse the um, this space that you're trying to clear. Today I'm going to be showing you sage. Now, sage you can purchase in little sage sticks like this, bundles or loose sage. Sage, sage, sage. So I actually used a bundle today and it's just going out and I've left it in this bowl to go out nicely by itself. And that's really important. Just in case I forget to say that later, you must let it go out by itself. You mustn't put it out. You mustn't put it in water or anything like that. Just let it go out by itself. So make sure you've got enough time for this because you don't want to leave something like that in, 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 in a space by itself. Make sure it's attended. And really, the reason being for that is saging, cleansing. It's it's a you know in many cultures, it's it's a spiritual um, it's a spiritual practice, and we want to respect their practices. If we're going to be using it and doing it, let's try and show some respect and and do the same. And that's the main reason why you can use incense sticks. I actually use incense sticks every single morning. Um, now I was raised in a Hindu family, and the one thing I know is we don't blow and there are many places that I've seen people blowing on their incense sticks that is also really disrespectful that's an easy one I mean we don't want our breath on there or saliva going on to um, something that could be connecting us to the um, spirit realm so we just you know we just I just do a woof like this going forward I don't even go forward and back now if you know why we only go forward like this please share it with me because I actually don't know and my my parents unfortunately aren't around anymore for me to ask them, but this is something I was raised with. And it's definitely something we weren't allowed to do that. We had to go forwards out of respect um, to even just put the flame out firstly, and then go around with the smoke cleansing um, the place. So that's with incense sticks. I actually do that every single day anyway. Um, I love the smell of incense sticks also in my home. But I use sage today. So sage, you can purchase them in these bundles, which I have got, but I am actually going to take some apart as well. You can buy loose leaves as well. Um, the reason being is they're too sometimes too big and too tight, so they're naturally going to go out. So you can see this is one that I did earlier today. It's actually already almost gone out, and that's far too many leaves anyway, so that's a complete waste. And there was a lot of smoke, so I didn't want to set, set off the smoke alarms but that's the stage it's just going out now so you can break that apart and then just put some leaves in here in the bowl and light those and then let it go out and then go around the house roofing it around the house and clearing and cleansing now when I do this I also ask for protection I ask for divine energy to you know release any negative energies within the home open all the windows, let that negative energy get out of the property or your space, whatever you're trying to clear. And then I just keep it in my intentions. The, one of the most important things about clearing or cleansing is intention. So, you know, it doesn't matter too much what we use. It's all about our intention. What, why are we doing that? Just go inwards. How are you feeling also? So, just be mindful of that. Keep it really relaxed. Keep just just flow with whatever you're doing and release the energy from the space that you're around. Once I've actually finished that, I actually like to then just fill any void areas with love and light. So I 
visualize golden light and again golden light is known to be divine energy and absolute un unconditional love so i want to fill my space my area any void areas with this golden light and i'll be um vocalizing that as well you can vocalize it or say in your head it's up to you but i just finish off like that the place has been cleansed i'm waiting for the sage to go out and i'm now filling the place up with golden light the windows are open so all that negative energy is going to flow out and hopefully you feel amazing afterwards if you've got any questions please drop them in the comments below i'm happy to answer anything i'm able to but i would like somebody to tell me why we do not do that on incense sticks so please share in the comments below thank you bye now